What's up guys, welcome to another video. We are the Mickelson Twins, if you don't know who we are. We have published well over 100 books in our lifetimes and for well over two years now. Book publishing has been a full-time income for us. So in this video, we will be answering the most common questions that we get asked by beginners. So this video is absolutely a requirement if you want to be able to get started with publishing and make as few mistakes as possible. Yes, you need to know the answer to all these questions. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on bell notifications, we talk all about publishing, entrepreneurship, things you don't want to miss, and so, it's 100% free. So why it's free? Not. So just, just why subscribe. Not. Question number one, are you guys publishing other people's books? So this is probably the question we'd ask the most. So oh, people just that what you, book publishing, I don't understand how that do works. Do you take other people's books, publish it for them? Do you get their rights? What do you do? Uh, so what we do is we don't do that. It's not other people's books. We create brand new books from scratch, from scratch, from nothing, and we own all of it, it's our books. And then we publish them and make money from it. Boom, question number one. Question number two, do I have to write books myself? I'm a really bad writer. No, absolutely not. I think the core of this business model, you, you don't write books yourself. We don't write books ourselves. We have, and you can if you want to, but no, you don't have to be a writer. You really don't need to have any particular skills at all. Because the best way to go about it is to hire a professional ghostwriter for you. They're a lot better at writing than you might be. Question number three, where do you find writers to write a book for you? So there are two main places you can go. You can go to a ghostwriting company, which is basically a company that has a team of ghostwriters who you can pay to use and they'll create content for you. Let's recommend our two favorite ghostwriting companies. Yes. TheUrbanWriters.com and HotGhostWriter.com. Yes, those are our two favorites. And then the second place that we go is to Upwork.com, a very popular website where you can meet freelancers and they have a, a ghostwriting section or a writer's section where you can simply find writers to work with and write books for you. It's a lot simpler than you would think. Question number four, how do I get a book cover made? One way is to outsource it to a professional cover designer. Our favorite place is to go to Fiverr. Some people think that like, oh, Fiverr, it just costs $5, which it does, but you could get phenomenal book covers made there. We'll put one on screen right there, another one there. Just, you would not think that came from just some small time designer on Fiverr. For $5, for $5, it's insane. But what you could also do is you could use canva.com and create your own book cover. Canva is like a creative photo design software where, where they have book cover templates you could use to create your own. Where you can also make really good ones even if you're not like a good designer. Question number five, do you narrate your audiobooks yourself? The answer is no, Absolutely I not. never have and I never will mm -hmm. and I would never suggest you do it yourself. Now you can but really only do that if you're like super super low money or you really have to be a professional narrator and you have like a, a golden radio voice. Imagine this uh, fucking Squidward voice over Welcome here. Welcome to this audio. No, no one wants to hear that. You need to put care into your audiobooks and most people just don't have the voice for it so we hire a narrator to do that for us. Question number six, how much does it cost to get started? In reality, you don't need money. No. You're in a very big advantage if you do have money to get started but you don't need it. Instead of having to write your book yourself and create your cover yourself, Yourself, you can hire a professional to write your book, create your cover, narrate your audiobook. One thousand, two thousand dollars, and you are golden. That's my straightforward answer. If you have two thousand dollars ready to invest, you are perfectly set up for success with this. Yes, but I also believe that publishing is the best online business model for people with literally no money to begin. We have a video on this because every other business model, like drop shipping and whatnot, you need to put in at least a thousand dollars to get started. Publishing is a rare one where you don't need to. Question number seven: Where do you sell your books short answer is everywhere on every the online bookstore basically that we can find we will put our books on but the primary ones are Amazon which is like 90% of where the money comes from and audible which is where all the audiobook money comes from audiobooks being the big one right now but we'll also publish our books to these platforms known as draft to digital publish drive and what's the last one Ingram spark yes and these are platforms that will publish your books to even more they're called aggregate publishers well they'll put your books on like 20 30 40 more more platforms just so you're everywhere on the internet question number eight as a beginner should I publish it nonfiction or fiction now as a beginner I can only highly 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 recommend nonfiction because it is a lot easier you would think that publishing fiction versus nonfiction you know it's very much the same it would be very similar but they're just not. they're completely different business models fiction is very much driven by Facebook ads paid advertising um, email marketing and these things while nonfiction is primarily primarily based on Amazon SEO and people finding your books by searching for the keto diet and then find your book about it. Um, so really organic search ranking. Trying to do that on fiction, yeah. you're competing against, you're never gonna be able to do it successfully. Let me just pull my nose real quick. <laughs> 
Question number nine. How do I know what my books should be about? Short answer, you do keyword research. And we're gonna link a video somewhere here on the screen. We've made a lot of videos about that. About how to do keyword research. So you're going to look for a book topic with high demand and low competition, and that's what you're gonna publish your book about. Now, how do you know what that's gonna be? Keyword research. That's how you find a profitable book niche. Question number 10, how much money can one book make? Kind of a broad question. Let's first answer, what's the most one of our books has made? Like we've had one book in one month make $5,500. One audiobook. Right, that was just the audiobook. Never mind the ebook and, and the paperback. The magic word on this, profit. profit. This was pure profit. Not a single dollar was spent, was spent on paid ads or any kind, it was just organic search ranking on audible so this doesn't even include ebook print books just the audiobook 5500 right sales for the book was probably like 15000 yeah after that profit 5000 that goes into our pocket mm -hmm. okay. but how much can one book make i know people that have made like 18 ish thousand on one book don't, from one, don't expect in that. one month long story short Publishing is a very profitable market to be in. Number 11, how long should my books be? 30,000 is the length that we recommend, but uh, a standard rule is generally longer is better. Very rarely will you make a book that's too long simply because it'll take like two years to write a book that's too long, or it'll cost thousands of dollars to have a book written that's too long. The so long you won't accidentally have a book that's too long. And the longer the book, the more value you can provide. And that's really the core of any business is providing yeah. as much value as you can. But 30,000 words is the golden balance between long enough to deliver a lot of value. It's about 150 pages, but still, can be written in about a month by a professional ghostwriter. And it won't, won't cost you too much to have that written. Yeah, exactly. How do you market your books? The number one way to market your books is SEO, search result rankings on Amazon and Audible. But you can also market your books running some Amazon ads, some paid advertising, which is a great idea to do. Um, but that does provide just a fraction of the traffic that your books will get. Um, and then otherwise, marketing your book, you just want a great cover, a great title, a great book description, and you want to have reviews on your book. You have the full package in a niche that people care about and there's not tons of competition where, so that you can be seen. And you're going to make good money with your book. Gathering reviews is the one sort of key to marketing your book that a lot of people kind of like overlook. Yes. Question number 13. Do you publish books using your own name? No, we do not use our own name in publishing books. We use pen names. If you're trying to build a personal brand, then you should publish on your own name. Right. But we're not. We're just publishing, in a sense, books that have nothing to do with us. Yeah. So we're just using a pen name and it, it doesn't matter. You yeah. can choose to use your own name. Nothing wrong with that. But the way we do it, there's, there's no need to put our own name on it. Now, I've published one book where I put my own name on it, uh, but it was a book that I wrote myself and it was about like me. It was from my personal experience, something I had a lot of knowledge about. But these other books, we have like a book about keto diet. I'm not gonna put my own name on If we put our own names on the books that we publish, people in the community will look up our names, find our books, and they'll steal the topics that we're publishing on our, our books on. That's just how people are. Number 14, how much money can you make with publishing? Um, again, you could be like JK Rowling and become a billionaire from it. But let's talk about self-publishers, people like us, people like you watching the video. How much can you realistically make? A phenomenal goal is $10,000 a month in royalties, profit. Um, that is a realistic goal. That is full-time income. That's life-changing amount of money. And like I said, also highly realistic. We do have friends who have made 20K, 30K profit. But um, I, I don't see any reason why anyone can't achieve $10,000 in publishing. No, there why? is no reason. Why couldn't you? So I, I think that's a great round number that everyone who's serious about it should shoot for. How fast can you make $10,000 per month? And this is officially my least favorite question on the entire list mm -hmm. because people who ask this question, you just know from the beginning, you're gonna fail, your head's not in the right place. Now we often say $10,000 is a great mark to set as a goal and it is mm -hmm. how fast can you make it like with my first publishing business i hit my first ten thousand dollar month uh that was in royalties not all profit it was like eight nine k profit uh that took me 15 months with my first one then we built a second one where we did this road to 10k challenge we started from zero and saw basically tested this question how fast could we do it yeah so we basically raced um so we had a lot of money on, on our side a lot of experience we have a, a series about our road to 10k right um and we did it in five months or six months it depends when you start the timer um we have we have another friend or student named pure luigi he also did it in six months so it can how fast can you you can do it in five six months that is not realistic do not expect it's not that. realistic at all so i will say a great goal that i tell everyone to hit 10k 12 months give yourself a 12 month timeline deadline and 
that's that's possible it's a lot of hard work you're going all in you're making sacrifices you're going hard if you're dedicated to it it's completely feasible how does your writer know what to write good question the answer is like we said before you do keyword research but when you when you know what your book is about you then have to write an in-depth outline doing the research for the writer and then you deliver that to them so they just have the outline and then based off that they're writing your book we also have a video all about how to write a great book outline for your ghost writer like we have videos answering each one of these questions basically in depth on our youtube channel we have over 150 videos where we talk all about publishing so if you aren't already subscribed subscribe if you didn't already smash the like button smash it right now thank you for doing so and everyone uh, has the ability to write a very good in-depth outline yeah Just anyone saying sounds like a lot of work and how do you write that why outline? can't you do that you're doing research on the internet all information for the most part is readily available on the internet <laughs> Question number 17, how much do you sell your books for? So we have three formats. We have your ebook, your paperback book, and your audiobook. The ebook, typically, we sell for $2.99. The paperback book, we sell for $19.99, so $20 typically. And the audiobook, $14.95. And $14.95 is not something we decide, that's Audible com that decides that price for you and um, they decide the price of your audiobook based on how long it is yeah now a three-hour audiobook is how long it's gonna be based off a 30,000 word book hence 1495 is the price point that gets you although the ebook and the paperback book you are 100% in control of the price yes but from our three years of experience those are the best price ones question number 18 I believe is publishing saturated no at, thank you. Absolutely not. Publishing is not saturated. It basically won't ever be. There will always be a massive demand for information, Book. learning, education, that books. Books is information. Yeah. Books have stood the test of time. They existed like in caveman times when they were writing on the walls and yeah. stuff. Yeah. That was their way of writing books. Yeah. Or in 2019, it's like everything's digital and like books are like handheld paperback books yeah. are still like incredibly popular. Yes. And that will never change. Question number 19, how long does it take to publish a book from start to finish? The answer to that is how fast can you write a book? If you can write a book in one day, guys, you'd be surprised how many really popular, famous, just cash machine books out there that were written in one or two days it doesn't have to take 18 months okay so but uh, a good timeline to have a, a book written like productively 30 days a month so you could publish the book in about four or five weeks but then to get your audiobook out there that needs to be narrated be approved by audible that'll take another four weeks um, so from having nothing to having your book and audiobook created I say about two months. Question number 20. What are all the expenses that go into creating a book? So there are three main ones and there's a bunch of minor ones, but the three main ones make up 98% of the expenses. They are one book writing, two audiobook narration, and three cover design. Cover design is though like five, seven dollars or ten dollars. Fifteen could be fifteen dollars. Yeah. And then the small ones, like if you want to have an email list, which I do suggest, then you have to pay like the monthly ten dollar fee, whatever. Yeah. So book writing, audiobook narration, and cover design are the three big ones. How much will that cost you? Have a thirty thousand word book anywhere between 500 you even you can get it cheaper but let's say 500 to 750 dollars ish to have a nice long 30,000 word book written and then narration for that book about 150 200 dollars give you a good round ballpark figure there and i know this was top 20 questions we actually have one final question Sorry. bonus Oops. question Oops. extra value a bonus question question number 21 how can i get started publishing one word question. one word answer subscribe just subscribe to our youtube channel we have a publishing youtube channel we basically as silly as that sounds 150 videos talking all about book publishing yeah so go through all our videos watch them uh basically just educate, educate yourself thank you jinx thank you thank you uh educate Twins. yourself about publishing we also have a two hour free training that we've probably linked somewhere above and below that you can check out where we really talk about the money side of publishing how to monetize it how to turn it into a business model where you can make five figures a month, enough income, enough profit to quit your job for life um, like we did a few years ago. Hope you guys found that very helpful. Let us know if you have any questions. We also want to do more series like this. So if you have questions about publishing you like to answer, drop them in the comment section and then write hashtag twins FAQ. How about yes. that? Yes. Also this, whatever question popped up into your brain during this video, drop it down below because we literally reply to every single comment on our channel. We try and do it within an hour, but within 48 hours, okay, realistically. Um, that's what it is. And yeah, that's in the video. Subscribe, oh. thanks for watching. And like it if you haven't done that yet. See you guys in the next video.